Nigeria's billion dollar skincare industry is thriving, but it has a dark side. In communities of color, beauty standards that prioritize lighter skin are driving many to resort to cheap skin lightening products. Unknown to them, these creams and soaps often contain toxic substances such as mercury and hydroquinone, which leads to severe health risks, including skin cancer and kidney damage. In this documentary, we trace the global and local supply chains behind these harmful products and why regulators are struggling to stop them from entering the country. Unlike many young women with dreams of attaining the beauty standards portrayed by the media, Sarah wanted help to clear acne on her face. Well, I will first start from, um, that was um, last, early last year, uh, 2021, early last year actually. So I had some acne on my face and I decided to, um, not so bad like that, it's just like a, a hyper pigmentation. So I decided to go to meet all the um, spa and these ones they call the organic products and most of those things. So I was using them basically on my face and it was getting bad. This um, Shelly, all those things, P.O.P. tried to put them on my face and it was getting really bad. I said, okay, let me just go down to uh, a spa to see how it can flow. This organic spa. And I went there. I got, um, they had to see my skin. They even had to examine it with one uh, machine and said, okay, this is what I need. I have to go for a facials and they, uh, um, they prescribed other um, creams I have to use lightning creams face creams and when I used them it was getting better after some time it was like I just um, retreated a little and boom I just started reacting to it I think it was like up to a month or two I started reacting to it reacting in a way that the acne from nowhere came down to my face I was feeling burning sensations. In fact, it was really bad that I couldn't, I couldn't even come out. It was so bad that when it came out, it came out in full force. It was like they went to have a meeting and decided to attack at once. So I had this burning sensation on my face, everywhere. It was itching. And it's coming out, it's coming out like boy on my face, bringing out liquids, water, sometimes on my face, and it was really bad. The Nigerian beauty and personal care market is booming and is projected to reach billions of dollars in revenue in the coming years. Young people, influenced by social media and global beauty trends, are driving this growth. Revenue in the Nigerian beauty and personal care market is projected at over $7 billion in 2023, according to statistical market data indicating the sector is indeed thriving. It is expected to grow annually by over 16% till 2027. But behind all this money, it hides a dark secret. The subject matter of skin lightening products, not just a national issue, it's a global issue. Uh, skin lightening creams have been used for ages, uh, unknown to quite a lot of people that um, uh, mercury, a major toxic substance, chemical, uh, is impregnated into skin lightening cream as an active agent. The younger people tend to use this more. Of course, it cuts across all ages, but studies have shown that the younger people tend to use this more. Why? The reason is, if you see online today, if you see, you watch our television, if you look at most of the billboard, there's this deception, you know, this continuous propagation that, oh, you only, you only, you are more appealing, you are more acceptable in the society, you look more beautiful, or you are beautiful only when you are light in color. This is a mis total misconception. We want to make quite a lot of young people appreciate their self-integrity, appreciate themselves the way they are beautifully and wonderfully made, rather than injecting a lot of chemicals to change their body system. Because as they get older, if the impact, currently we know that the impact is basically skin inflammation, skin cancer, which is, they are all irreversible, take note. Kidney damage, 
a lot of kidneys today that are going down the line are as a result of the preponderous use of cosmetic materials. So we think that if we can continue to send these messages online, it's helping to conscientize a lot of younger people. Look, believing more in alternatives that are skin and environmentally friendly than the ones that are damaging to their system irreversibly. Our investigation uncovered three major points of entry into Nigeria for all skin lightening products. Based on sampling and opinion surveys, we estimate that about 10% come smuggled in through, through Nigeria's poorest land borders or through personal frights at the airports. Similar volume is purchased from foreign e-commerce sites like Alibaba and Amazon. The bulk of the products, over 80%, come through registered importers, some even licensed by the National Agency for Food and Drug Administration and Control, NAFDAQ. Like I said earlier, Mercury is a very dangerous toxicant. Uh, it's a heavy metal, but dangerous in the sense that uh, very little quantity of it getting into the skin, getting absorbed into the blood tissue, uh, comes up with quite a lot of health problems. Most of the skin lightening cream products, especially those with high levels of skin whitening compounds, are mostly sold locally through online e-commerce sites including Gigi. There were a few sellers on Konga, Jumia and several smaller e-commerce sites. Despite the Nigerian government's ban on mercury in cosmetic creams, a joint investigation conducted from 2020 to 2022 by the Zero Mercury Working Group and partner organizations including the Sustainable Research and Action for Environmental Development, Stradev Nigeria, found that many skin lightening products in Nigeria still contain high levels of mercury. Furthermore, these products are readily available for purchase on various e-commerce sites. Many ways in which uh, cosmetics can become a challenge. Uh, we have very porous borders where people bring the things in that we don't approve. Uh, that is one. Uh, we also have uh, simple cosmetics. We call them simple cosmetics that we allow MSMEs to make. And uh, we have to control that because those are the ones that we register or that come through our system. And cosmetics can also come through global listing. Global listing is a service for supermarketers uh, and we, if they import 5,000 products, we do not inspect them like we do one product, two products per company. Uh, that is a challenge that we need, to, we are revisiting as we speak. Uh, to what extent do we leave them without inspection? Are we going to be doing random? inspection uh, so that uh, we can see those that are bringing things in that are of good quality and those that may not be. And then there are some cosmetics people that actually make cosmetics in their studio. These people are not well trained to make cosmetics. We need more sensitization. We need to bring them, because sometimes they don't even know adding this to that can lead to something down the road. It can lead to cancer. Uh, those who use bleaching, creams or whatever, your skin may be lighter now, but what is going to happen in 10 years? If you keep using the same thing, it's a custom that that person is used to, that person may have cancer. So we have to make sure that our own awareness, uh, our stakeholders' awareness, sensitization, very, very important. Some local organic cream manufacturers also mix the skin lightening creams already established to contain high levels of mercury and other lightening agents into the so-called organic creams. If a customer comes to our spa and they say they want fast toning, what we do is to mix toning creams with our organic products to get fast results. Really? So how, how do you miss it? What do you miss? Okay, so um, if you want to get shining skins for your wedding or birthday shoots, what we do is mix lightning creams like Anesa Gold with Kojic Acid and other organic products to make fast toning results. The Lagos International Trade Fair Complex, a major trade hub, plays a significant role in the distribution of cosmetics and skincare products in Nigeria. Some products enter the country without proper inspection according to NAFDAQ officials. 
Distributors who buy from trade fair mostly sell on e-commerce sites and some in stores. Many of the skin lightening cream tests have shown as higher levels of mercury are mostly sold on online platforms such as Jumia, Conga and Gigi. When I say e-commerce platform, we're talking about like the Jumia, the Gigi, the Conga platforms and so many of them in Nigeria here. So marketing and selling of skin lightening creams that contains mercury. So what basically Stradev does is to carry out research advocacy that provides sufficient data information, strengthening NAVDAC enforcement capacity to be able to monitor. And uh, so basically, we are implementing a project uh, which is there towards strengthening enforcement of facing out mercury added projects in Nigeria with a focus on the skin lightning cream. Data from this project will inform the Nigerian government to better enforce the regulations on skin lightening products. With porous borders and inadequate monitoring, the rules made to prevent entry of harmful skin care products into the country are easily ignored. The agency does not even have enough handheld X-ray fluorescence XRF scanners to conduct on-the-spot testing for mercury and skin care products imported into the country through the air and sea ports. X-ray fluorescence XRF machines are used to test for mercury in products. These machines work by measuring the amount of X-rays emitted from a sample after it is exposed to a beam of X-rays. Therefore, it relies on rates of already imported skin lightening products into Nigeria. It shared with importers a list of globally approved products of over 5,000 products, but cannot adequately monitor each brand imported. In the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals under Goal 3, Nigeria has the obligation to ensure good health and well-being of its citizens. Section 3.9 of the UN Sustainable Goals says that by 2030, the world will substantially reduce the number of deaths and illnesses from hazardous chemicals and air, water and soil, pollution and contamination. By the end of 2020, the Minamata Convention on Mercury required each party to ban the manufacture, import or export of cosmetics containing over one part per million mercury by taking appropriate measures. Nigeria, as signatory to this convention, is obligated to fulfill its obligation. Nigeria has gone one step further to ban the importation of cosmetics containing mercury. It is difficult to obtain mercury in Nigeria as only NAFDAQ officially imports the metal. However, skin lightening creams containing mercury are routinely imported and sold in the Nigerian market. During the course of this investigation, Shradev wrote many letters alerting owners of e-commerce platforms to the dangers of the skin lightening creams that tests have confirmed had high mercury content. Gigi and Konga did not respond, but Jumia sent representatives to examine the issues. Some of the products were removed from the Jumia site, but soon some returned. For now, NAFDAQ relies on its enforcement teams to carry out raids in major markets across Nigeria, but these are ineffective. In 2022, Nigerian lawmakers mandated NAFDAQ to generate the money required to fund its operations. The danger is that this could compromise effective enforcement. This is why it is important that Nigerians understand the risk involved in the deadly trade of beauty at the cost of their health.